I'm Mayor Kathy Carlett. As we all work together to fight the progression of the COVID-19 pandemic, I am reaching out personally to assure you that your well-being remains Peoria's highest priority. There have been a series of state and federal developments in the past week, so I want to take a moment to provide you with an update. Yesterday, Governor Ducey issued an executive order that becomes effective at 5 p.m. today, Tuesday, March 31st. He titled his mandate, Stay Home, Stay Healthy, and Stay Connected. This is a stay-at-home order that will remain in effect through April 30th, unless extended. It's intended to promote physical distancing to mitigate COVID-19 transmission. Under this executive order, we must limit time away from home, except for employment or volunteer work in essential services and for participating in important functions like shopping for food and picking up prescriptions. On March 23rd, the governor issued an executive order detailing the list of businesses, services, and operations that he has deemed essential in the state of Arizona. His latest order does not change that list. If you'd like to know how this list applies to you, your family, your employers, you can find it on the City of Peoria's COVID-19 webpage. I've heard from many of you that believe these essential services do not go far enough. And I've heard from many of you that believe they go too far. It's important to note that in order to prevent patchwork laws across our state and ensure consistency, the governor has mandated that only he, as the chief executive of our state, can issue an order that defines and allows or prohibits essential services. A significant part of the governor's order is the directive that parks must remain open. This order aligns with the recommendations of top public health officials who have stated there are numerous mental and physical health benefits from spending time outside, recreating and exercising. With classrooms closed, it's a great time to enjoy this beautiful weather and the benefits that nature provides in our peaceful Sonoran Desert. But please, as you are out on the trails and in the parks, take extra care to implement the CDC's physical distancing guidelines. That means limiting your interactions with those outside of your immediate family and keeping a distance of six feet between you and others. While we must make every effort to adhere to physical distancing, it's important to stay connected to our family, friends, and neighbors as much as possible. I encourage you to use resources like FaceTime and Skype and continue to check in on those who may be alone. We all need a friendly voice and a bit of reassurance now and then. As we adjust and attempt to make sense of COVID-19 and its far-reaching implications, I want to assure our Peoria community that there will be no disruptions to your core city services. Your police and fire medical are here for you. Your water supply and delivery are secure. Your trash will be picked up and your parks and streets will continue to be well managed. The business of the city council continues and we remain fully committed to transparency and accountability in everything that we do. The City of Peoria's website is updated as new information comes in. Each of the governor's executive orders are located there, and the business resources section includes the new state and federal programs that have been put in place to help mitigate the financial impacts of COVID-19. It also has links to our local restaurants that offer pickup and delivery services. Let's continue to shop local and support Peoria businesses. We are in this together, and together we can stay strong. Thank you.